it's the uh, unusual canine contest, as once again judges from across the country are searching for the UK's ugliest dog. However, this year there's a bit of a problem because organisers have said that the pooches being submitted are actually not ugly enough. Now, I mean, it's ugliness is in the eyes of the beholder. We're joined now by one of the competitors, Chinese crested pug, Cross Peggy, along with her owner, Holly Middleton. And good morning, both of you. Good morning. It's lovely to see you. Um, so, you know, it's, uh, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. It is. And you say that, you know, sort of Peg Peggy's gorgeous. I think she's gorgeous, but we got... I got sent a lot of sort of links to that competition, so we thought, we'll enter her, and right. we ended up here. So you've always grown up with dogs? Yes. But you hadn't had one with you. You've got not as a not as a family. And, yeah. yeah. And so when you decided that you were going to get a dog for for the kids, yeah. Um, how did this happen? Well, we looked into obviously going down the adoption route, but a lot of them they weren't rehomed with children under a certain age, and Zach was two at the time. Um, so we just started looking online. I knew we wanted a small dog. I knew we wanted a puppy, so it'd sort of grow up alongside the children. And then I just saw a picture and. All the, she was already sort of nearly six months old. Most puppies go at about eight weeks. So she was the last one left and I almost felt like nobody else wanted her, so... Did you know what the other puppies looked like? Um, um, as far as I'm aware, it's, it was a long time ago, but as far as I was aware, they all had hair. Right. They were all more sort of the pug than the Chinese crested. And Peggy obviously <laughs> was more Chinese crested. So what was it? Because as you say, the sad story is that she was sort of left on the shelf a little bit yep. there and you thought, oh my God, this is what I want. What was it that, you, that drew you to her? She was just sat there, she had just had these big brown eyes and this l tongue. Yes, she's we'll always come to had that. that. In a <laughs> she's always had that. And I just loved, I've always been drawn to sort of little goblins and gremlins and that type of thing. Do you know, I was going to say, she is a, like a cross between a Pokemon and a gremlin, yeah. isn't she? Yeah, I love all that stuff. So I just think <laughs> something. And when you took her home, yeah. what was the reaction with the family? Well, they'd all seen her first. We'd all agreed, this is the one. They're used to me and my little quirks. So they, they just, everybody accepted her. My mum, my not so sure. She likes a, a fuzzy, curly lap dog type yeah. dog. Um, but everyone loves her. Once they meet her and they see how sweet and gentle and soft she is, you can't help but... So what is her personality? She's... Lazy, <laughs> laid back, just really, really sweet, really. She barks a little bit, but other than that, just likes to just lay on the sofa, watch a bit of telly. Dr Zoe was here earlier on and uh, and she said, Holly's just arrived, she's come back. Um, Hello. In you come, in you come. I couldn't come and miss meet Peggy. Peggy and Holly. Hello. <laughs> Hello, you all right? Yeah, Hi. nice to see you. Oh, we were just, lots of questions. I literally just walked in and my husband's here as well. We just walked in, we saw Peggy on the monitor. Does that get dry? No. That's my, that was my question. <laughs> Does it get dry? That's bizarre. Dr Zoe was here earlier and she said she saw you down in makeup and she and she meant to ask you, but she didn't get round to it, that if, if she sees patients that have got very dry mouths, yep. they have stuff they give them. So do you put anything on that tongue? No, she can get it back in her mouth. It just doesn't stay there. Oh. But it's, it gets dirty. I don't know if she's still got mud on her tongue. We Tiny took her outside to toilet and she's sniffing around. It sort of drags the on the floor next to her. If I take her. Bailey for a walk and I put her in the car, I'm always like, put your tail in before you sort of shut the boot or shut the door. <laughs> Do you ever get worried that put you're your just going to pop your tongue in? <laughs> no, no, oh. she's... she's... <laughs> she's just oh. trying to cover her, cover her modesty with she's my so scarf. Sweet. No, she it doesn't bother at all. She eats like normal, drinks like normal. Oh, she's normal. just... Do you have to look after her any differently when you're out? No, not when we're out and about. Um, well, if it's... She hasn't got any fur on. She hasn't got any she fur. She gets sunburn. If it's sunny, we put ah. a bit of Factor 50 on her. Yeah. Um, if it's really cold, we'll put a jumper. If it's raining, we'll put a little coat on her. Just the same as we wouldn't go outside with, with nothing on. She gets pretty cold. Bit but cold. She's quite warm. If you, if you feel her just We now, just had a little stroke earlier on. She's, she's really nice warm. She's and, nice and sort of snug. We do have to sort of give a regular... Baths. I use little exfoliating mitts. I use stuff to moisturise her skin so she doesn't get too dry. 
But she's not hard work. She's very sweet, isn't she? She's she gorgeous. She's, she's very well behaved. Nice energy. So let's she's talk gentle. about this competition then. Yes. Because uh, the uh, the competition that the, this is the issue that the organisers have got. This is Britain's ugliest dog. It's open to applicants. The twelve finalists will be announced in December, and the winning mutt will be treated to a professional grooming and before and after photo session. Ooh, not... I'm entirely sure I know what's going <laughs> to be done. <laughs> what but are they gonna groom? I don't know what they're going to do. Whenever. Not a lot. To groom Maybe. There. Yeah, do her nails. <laughs> um, however, the uh, the company running the competition has been flooded with entries of too cute mitts. Yeah. Mutts. Yeah. Um, so um, so you are encouraging other people to 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 enter. Yeah. And be a part of this. Yeah. Just. It takes a lot though for an owner to say. I've got an ugly dog. No, I know it's true because you all love them. You know, I do. I in don't. The out of the I don't think she's ugly. I genuinely think she's like her little face. I think she's gorgeous, but I know why people would maybe find her ugly. When you walk, we forget because she lives in our house. We forget she, she's not like a normal dog. Yeah. People in the street, they'll either all want to touch her and meet her or they'll avoid her. You see Aww. people whispering to each other and it's like, what is it? You wouldn't swap <laughs> her for the world, would you? Absolutely not. No, she is gorgeous. She's been very well behaved. She has been. One of our better behaved dogs here, I've got to say. <laughs> we'll put uh, put the details uh, online if you would like to enter your dog. If you think perhaps your dog is um, is ugly, because that's what they're looking for. Don't send cute pics because they're not interested. No, thank you. Um, and thank Good you. Good luck. Thank Good you. Luck. I hope she does well. Lovely to meet so you. So do I. Lovely. Sorry to only come halfway through. <laughs>